Okay, I'm going to show you some um, figure generation functionality built on top of the Amero web client. Um, for those of you familiar with Amero, you'll know you've got images that we can browse in the clients and um, a bunch of metadata for each one, things like channel name and pixel size and dimensions. Um, we'll be using some of this data. Um, these images I've actually downloaded from the JCB Data Viewer website and they come from a paper published um, in 2007 um, by Ian Porter on MCAC. Um, so we're going to use this oops, as um, we're going to try and make this figure from uh, the images we've downloaded or at least start to do some of this figure anyway. Right, so let's start with this, these panels here. Um, let's get this out of the way. And the images I'm going to need for these ones um, are here and here. So I'm going to first just start by opening this link to the figure thing here in a new tab. And let's just have a look at this. I've just got a, a blank canvas at the moment. I can zoom the canvas at the bottom here. And I need to start by choosing to add panel. Um, and here I can just enter image IDs, um, one or separated by commas. Um, but it also, uh, as a convenience, um, so I could just put in these, these IDs here from these images. But it will also allow me to use the URL for these. So this link here will give me a, a URL I can copy in. And if I was to paste this in the browser, it's got the image IDs in it. Um, so that's a link in the browser. Um, but we've also managed to use it here. So if I paste this in, we'll add these two images. OK, so I can move them around and, and resize them. Zoom in a bit. Okay. Um, and first thing I'm going to do is play with the rendering settings. Um, well, let's select both of them, actually. Um, and I need to change some of the colors here. So, well, if I show you what it looks like with an individual image, I can choose different colors. Oops. Um, Let's undo that. If I do Control Z, I can undo. Um, okay, that looks good. Um, in fact, I'm going to select both of these panels, and anything that you can do to one panel, you can do to both. So again, if I choose, we've got different colours here now, but if I choose green, they'll both change to green. Um, if I boost the levels, again, that's happening for both. Cut down the background, boost the levels a bit. Okay, something like that. Looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same for the red channel. Great. Okay. Um, now let's arrange these a bit better. So I'm going to, since I've got both these selected, I'm going to set the width and height uh, of both of them to be the same. Um, I'm going to use Control A to again to set both of them. Let's zoom back a bit. Now if I copy Control C and Control V, I can just paste multiple copies of those. Again, I'm going to select all, position these a bit better within the paper. OK. And zoom in, fine. Now I just need to align them all. So there's a quick align here. I can just align to grid, and I'll take any collecting images and tidy them up in their alignment. OK, now let's do the rendering of all these. So I'm going to select these first six here, and all these colors need to go to white. This will become a bit clearer in a second. OK, now I'm just going to select the first two and only leave the first channel on. And these two I'm going to turn off all apart from the second channel. 
And this third one, I'm going to turn off all apart from the third channel. Great. Okay, it's looking good. Now we need to add some labels. So I'm going to choose all these top ones here and then go to the label tab on the right. Oh, incidentally, now I've got all these selected. I can still do things like um, zoom them all together and move them around a bit. But no, I actually just don't need to do that too much. That's fine. Okay, so let's go to the labels. <coughs> I can add labels here. Just uh, a simple label will be added to all those panels. But uh, um, in this case, I'm going to add uh, the channels. So generate new labels and channels. I can add it to sort of within the corners of the panel itself or outside the panel. Again, it's already chosen for the top. Size is probably about right. Um, Okay, because it's using, the, it's using the channel names that I already had on these, and the white channel here is black label. Here I've got all three channels and it's generated labels. For those, um, actually I'm going to get rid of these and just rename this merged and have a black. Okay, and now at the end here, I'm going to select these two and add a scale bar. Um, at the bottom left corner, that's 10 microns. And then because I, we, we know the pixel size and knows how big the scale bar is going to be, let's make it 5 microns for both of those. <coughs> and I'm going to add another label to this one, but this time adding it to the left. Um, and that's going to be control SIR. An AI, enter, and I'm going to select the next one down. It's going to be board one, S I R N A I, enter. Okay. And that's pretty much just done for this first part of the figure. Okay, if I wanted to generate a um, PDF from this, I can click this button up here and it's generated on the server and it should send me back a um, PDF which I can download. Um, okay, right, so this is all we, what I have so far. Um, and again, if I want to, so I can open that in Illustrator, for example. Okay, here's it, and now I can do things here which, I can, which are not allowed in the web client, like I can rotate the um, labels and that sort of thing, making the tidies up. But let's just um, go back and add a little bit more here. I'm going to go back to the web client um, and um, carry on with the next part of this figure. I'm going to try this, this part down here now. Um, so let's choose the images we need from that, which is this one, this one. Again, copy the link, add panel, paste in. OK. OK, let's start it off with big again. Scale these down a bit, bring them down here. Oops. Um, okay, actually these need to be the other way around. Again, just kind of align these to a bit. Pull them down here. Play with the rendering settings a bit. Um, and now I need to, oops, let's make them the same size. Um, when I'm playing with the sizes um, like this, I'm not actually distorting the pixel itself. Even if I make this really profoundly different um, size, you'll see that the, the, the image itself um, doesn't. 
um, change. Also, I've got um, um, I've got undo and redo here. If I can hit Control Z, you'll see everything um, has undo right the way back to the start of the uh, figure, and then Control Command Y. So Command Z, Command Y, um, all the way. Okay, and step back. Right. Okay, so what I was going to do with these, I was going to copy them. Let's zoom in a bit more down here. Uh, copy these two and paste. Again, I've pasted below here. That's handy. I'm going to resize these guys a bit. Um, and move this one over here. Um, again, Align these top. I'm going to turn off the blue channel in both of these. Actually, I'll do that in a sec. Um, and then what we want to do with these is um, zoom in to show an enlarged part of the image. So I'm going to zoom right into this particular pair of centials. Since it ends up here. In fact, I'm gonna show it to maximum zoom there. Okay, and same for this one. In fact, for these two here, um, I actually want to choose a different uh, Z section. So I'm gonna choose both of these, set both these. You'll see they're both actually selected here, and I can go to a different um, Z section here. Okay, and this one I'm going to zoom again, focusing up here. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Right, and then for both these bottom ones here, um, I'm going to turn off the blue channel. Fine. Okay, and there's another one. I could copy this one. And, oops. Copy and paste that one there and move that to a different location if I wanted to. Um, Right, what else? Let's just add what's gonna do yeah. add a label let's go size fourteen add to the top of this one um control say and a i and the next one over here board one um, let's add scale bars to them both. <coughs> Five microns. Oops, let's put the scale bar bottom left. Okay. Um, actually, we don't need it on this one. Move it from that one. Um, and I'm going to add channels, uh, labels to this one. Um, again, this is going to be on it. The bottom right and size 12. Oops, okay, you can see they've added Dappy Fitzy. So, this is in this case, these are not quite the right names. I want Fitzy, I want it to be heck one, and Texas Red is going to be um, Keck. Great, okay, so. This is looking pretty good, and that's compared with the, the one we're trying to make from the figure here. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching.